What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be ranking the Avatar live action characters. There's gonna be spoilers in this, so if you have not watched the live action, click off. Now overall, I feel like people were overreacting online about this show, like the live action. I honestly liked it. I really liked it, which I didn't think I was going to. The teasers that were coming out were kind of iffy. And then I saw like what it got on Rotten Tomatoes. And I was like, oh y'all, this must to be a dumpster fire. <laughs> but i ended up really liking it but we're not here to do a review we are here to rank the characters because more than anything i have the most to say about the characters than like the plot or the story most of what i like have to say is about the character anyways before we get into the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave in the comments like your own like rating of the show like did you like it did you hate it did you not care for it let me know in the comments all right coming in at the bottom you guys are gonna actually be like really shocked at who this is at the bottom of the list coming in at the bottom is boomy why did he hate ang why did he like have so much resentment for ang i understand in the animated he did kind of like put ang to the test when they first met but like in the show they made it like he wanted revenge on ang for like leaving for all those years which is not at all their dynamic i feel like they completely missed on boomy that is why he's at the bottom y'all he was he's one of my favorites in the um, animated they i was so confused y'all i was like all right y'all coming up next is zhao now i didn't really have anything like to say for zhao's character but the reason he's at the bottom y'all is because his actor like they revealed like in an interview his actor said that he had no clue what avatar the last airbender was he thought it was like avatar the movie like the blue people avatar like that just confirmed my suspicion like i feel like he had no clue what the character was supposed to be and that confirmed my suspicion like he had no idea what he was signing on for all right coming up next this is actually devastating i don't i don't know how to like ease into this next person i'm like kind of like disgusted by how low they are coming up next is azula i cannot be the only person that was disappointed in her character in the live action because of what they did to her in season one they should have just did what the original animated did and introduced her at the end of the season like she was supposed to be introduced the live action people decided to put her in there and include her character in there earlier she gave angry like she gave angry like she was mad sure but she didn't give the vindictive like unfazed apathetic because azula was at times like she had like an I don't care like type of vibe like she very much cared quite early in the the live action which i thought was i was like wait like give us this like emotional like my parents don't don't care about me enough or whatever at the end of this live action series like in season three not now like i feel like they just missed on that i, I wasn't scared of her at all her and ozai's dynamic i'll go into ozai later on but like they're like i don't know Speaking of Ozai, he's up next. It's kind of similar, like the actor did a great job portraying him. The whole scene with him giving Zuko the scar, I thought that was done really, really well. Again, it's not the character's fault, it's the writers. They just did not hit on him and Azula's relationship at all. Him and Zuko's relationship? They did a great job. They did a great job on it and whatever. But him giving Zuko all that praise and all was a little, a little... A little weird now i was gonna also include may and ty lee but i feel like they didn't get enough so it would kind of be unfair of me to judge them they they, they got screen time but it was like what two minutes all right coming up next is ua i actually feel like they did a like sh her actor like did a great job portraying her she was you know wondrous she was super sweet she did what she needed to do to protect like the the northern water tribe like they did good with her story i also think they did a like okay job with her and sokka's dynamic like i kind of like it was cute it was cute sokka was getting around and like y'all yeah, know he he does as well in the in the animated but like i think they did a really good job with her her styling however i don't know how i feel about them wigs may's actor was done dirty with her wig as well y'all like all right coming up next is sokka I'm not gonna get into you know his actor and whatever but i think he did an okay job um he wasn't like too funny like it wasn't too forced or anything like it didn't feel like overdone i really didn't think much of sokka but i did like the scenes 
that they included from when he was trapped in the spirit world but, like the reason he's like not higher is just he just didn't do anything that like made me like remember him like he was kind of just there which is not at all how i see the animated version of Sokka at all all right next up this person is actually my favorite character in the animated so it's so hard for me to put them this low coming up next y'all is Katara I did not feel the joy now be it that could be the like writing I didn't feel Katara from her until the scene with her versus Paku and then she had the fight with Zuko at the end that's when I, I was like okay this is Katara for the majority of the show y'all and I was hoping that she was going to be my favorite in the live action. I was like, there's no way she's going to be like the one of the ones that I didn't really connect to because she's my favorite in the animated. Y'all, life came at me fast. I was really disappointed that I didn't really feel much for her character. Now her fight scenes, her fight scenes were amazing. Like they had me gagging. Her fight with Zuko was amazing. But I feel like no one talks about her fight with Paku because that was actually great. They did a great job on that fight. All right, coming up next is the main character. Dang. now it's not like this is a huge difference from my ranking of like the like animated i mean like i, I like Aang. i love his character but i do have a couple characters ahead of him in the animated as well so this isn't really that different in the animated we got a lot more joy from him in the first season this one was very doom gloom depression it was giving depression for the entire time which don't get me wrong in the animated he was also depressed and like you know after he found out that his people have been wiped out but i feel like in the live action you I barely had any moments where I was like, like he was giving kid ang, naive, you know, childish. He didn't give that at all. I know this is not a one-to-one -one adaptation, obviously, but I just feel like they could have included more of his lighthearted moments. He did have a few, like obviously like whenever he was with Sokka, but like I just feel like they, he needed more than that. I also like that they showed so much of his relationship with Gyatso, which is something I feel like they animated. They showed, but like I, I, I would I would love to see more of it, and they did that. I was kind of in tears whenever like they had they had their scenes together in that part where he like disappeared when he came back go watch it if you haven't watched it go watch it but if you watch it you know what i'm talking about all right coming up next is iroh iroh i feel like they cast him perfectly they did so good with his character in the live action i, I loved it the part with his son y'all where they're showing like at the memorial like for his son after he passes away was so well done and i like that they also included more of his like faults because i feel like a lot of people just feel like iroh is like a completely innocent person and that's not who he is like he has committed horrible crimes in the past but i feel like a lot of people forget that because he is such a likable character but in the live action they didn't shy away from that like they included the part where their earth kingdom soldier was talking Talking about how he lost his brother from what Iroh did. I like that they included that. Like his for his character, the writers did what they were supposed to do. And that's why he's this high on this list. Because I was actually shocked with how well I feel like they did his character in the show. Alright, we're in the top three. We're finally at the top three. This is kind of hard for me to rank, and a lot of you are gonna be shocked at my top three, but again, this is based on the live action. So hear me out. Coming in at number three is Jet. Guys. A standout. Jet was so well done in the live action, y'all. As soon as he showed up on screen, I was like, Ugh. Wait a minute. No. Well, aside from that, they did his character so, so well, y'all. I didn't hate him in the animated, but in the live action, y'all, they did him so well. His fight scenes also, he he had me shocked. That's why he's this high on this list is because in the animated, I didn't really, you know, Jet was a cool character, but I was like, okay, Jet, whatever. In the live action, all of his scenes were amazing. I loved seeing him whenever he was on screen. All of his scenes with Katara as well. We gotta give them their tens with Jet. Also, cast it perfectly like what i expected to see him but i was like, okay it's gonna be jet you know we know jet no bitch they made me know jet y'all not too much on me in the comments nonetheless he's at number three i don't care i loved him all right number two coming up next is zuko i know you guys are like who's number one how are, how is he how are these people not at the top zuko i feel like was also done amazing i know a lot of people online are probably going to disagree with me because i saw a lot of like people saying that they didn't really like the actor for zuko but that's just how you feel about the casting other than that i feel like he was amazing portrayed all the emotional scenes with ozai so well about how how small he was at that time where he challenged him to a duel before he got his scar like dallas we gotta give dallas his tens because he did he did so good with zuko his fight scenes 
every fight scene Zuko was in was a 10 out of 10. You can't say they didn't do his fight scenes justice. Well, number one, that's due to the casting because Dallas is like really talented. He knows how to like do a lot of martial arts. So that's just big ups to the casting department. Even the scene with him and Aang when, when he does like the blue spirit and he saves Aang. That little conversation they have afterwards when Zuko's knocked out and he wakes up was so good. Everything about Zuko was 10, 10, 10. All right, and coming in at number one, which is a huge shock for even myself. I know it's going to be a huge shock for you guys. If you watch the live action, you, you're going to be like, on my side coming in at the top is suki what an entrance her whole i wish she got more scenes i know like you know they gotta like do a lot of scenes with all the other characters and suki was you know she was a part of the animated first season as well i wanted to see her for the rest of the show did all her fight scenes well her interaction with sokka her interactions with you know you know just with herself like everything like her, how her character is she's a warrior and all that but they made sure to get the vulnerable side of her so well guys she blew me away the most in the in the live action because i didn't expect her to have like i like suki in the like original but i didn't expect her to leave such a huge impression i was still looking for her i was like okay are, are they gonna show her again at some point in the show she was so well done y'all made me like she's one of my favorite characters now the live action made me like appreciate her so much more which is crazy to say because i don't know and she had so little time to like do it compared to all the other characters and she did it in less than a, an episode for me i loved her on in the live action i don't care what y'all say suki are number one all right guys so that was me ranking the avatar live action characters i know y'all are gonna have a lot to say but that's what the comments are for and we're gonna have a conversation like don't don't think i'm not gonna reply to you guys because i will be replying this ranking shocked me as much as it's gonna shock you guys because a lot of these characters that i have at the top are not who i have at the top in the animated i'm just as shocked as you guys leave me your thoughts on the show and if you haven't watched it already and you still decided to watch this video what are you looking forward to the most just based on like what i was saying but like leave your rating a scale, on a scale of one to ten like what do you rate the show i gave it an eight it blew me away like the visuals were stunning it was great like i loved it but yeah guys without further ado thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys very soon in the next video